Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy, gaming, and uh, we are starting up the next episode here with um, our sugar beet harvest just about finished. So uh, I have brought out the cedars, and they're all set uh, for barley. I've brought out the sprayer with herbicide, and uh, I've finished the work on field 57. And so these guys are just about finished, as you can see here. And then when they finish, we are going to get started on preparing this field to also plant barley. So the first order of business is going to be, well, it's probably going to need lime, isn't it? Let's take a look. We probably should lime it first. Um, and then we'll plow it. And then we will de-stone it. Harvested needs needs plowing. Okay, <clears throat> so I guess we can plow it first, and then we can do the lime later. That's fine. So we're gonna basically have to do everything on this field, and uh, so yeah, that's what we are about next. But like I said, 57 is finished. It's all good to go, and uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take over for. Uh, the combine here, or not the combine, the harvester. Probably the red truck is about ready to come out here, but let's just turn off course play and finish what's left. You know, I'm not even going to bother <clears throat> getting those few tiny plants on the diagonals there. It is not going to be worth it. I mean, we have so many beets <laughs> anyway as it is that uh, I think we're good to go no matter what. Okay, so let's just get this last little patch here. All right, and then we'll stop and let this guy pull around the other direction. I'm assuming he will to get this last little bit of beets. We've got uh, 5,458 liters in here. And then we'll be able to turn the beet harvester back in because we're done with it. Come on over, buddy. Yeah, this has gone exceptionally smoothly. I, I pretty much didn't have to intervene at all. Um, course play and auto drive did this entire field. Uh, without my help and that's really cool okay so we are finished with this harvester let's go into the uh leases b technology uh we'll return the this uh we can also return the uh the header probably should have returned that first but i don't think it matters and there we go okay you know longer need to be on so we're going to turn you off and we'll just drive um, actually what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tell it to go unload at the beach shed because we need to jump back in the tractor and bring the uh, the lizard plow out here and like I said I think I'm going to get two of them so I can get the new Holland working on one side of the field while I'm working on another one just so we speed it up a little bit uh, okay so let's go here and we're just going to set this to deliver and deliver this last load to the sugar mill all right I want to see where the pickup truck is okay he's actually delivering right now And then we will, as soon as he's done tipping here, we'll turn auto drive off. And yeah, that worked out just stupendously well. <laughs> okay, we can turn auto drive off now and take over from here. We need to get the pickup out of the way because the man's gonna be coming through with that last little tiny load.
Uh, but yeah, field 57 is completely re done and ready to go. Um, oh, you know what? No, we gotta. We still have to soil roll. That's right. I forgot about that. We still have to soil roll this field. Um, I've sprayed it. Yeah, it. We got a soil roll. Okay. Crap. I forgot about that. Okay. So let's see. Um, and we want to bring the. Th how many? How much horsepower does the big? Roller require. Let's take a look here. It requires 350. Yeah, we're gonna need the fence for this guy because we're gonna we're gonna lease this and we're gonna need this for the other field anyway. So we're just gonna lease it and hang on to it uh, for the other field. Okay. So anyway, let's take the pickup and the flegel back to the shop there. I've had to continue to borrow money <laughs> to pay for all of this, uh, so I think we're up to 200000 or so, but, you know, we'll be able to pay that off really easily and really quickly when it's all said and done. Okay, so let's just, I'm just going to park you here for now. We'll worry about you later. Okay, so yeah, we got to go back and get the fent and bring it back here to get this rolling done because it's the only tractor we have that'll. Oh, looks like you are. Why are you right there? I don't know. That's odd. Oh, because I said sugar mill unload, not okay, not not beet shed. That was okay. That was my fault. Makes at least we understand why though. Okay, let's just uh, tip the rest of this, and then we'll see how much, how many sugar beets we actually ended up with. It's going to be a lot. I I'm expecting these beets to last for, I mean I don't know how long they're going to last. Possibly for the whole rest of our playthrough, but if not that. You know, for a few years, I would think, in game years, maybe. Maybe not, though. I don't know. We'll see. It really just depends upon how quickly the sugar mill processes them. All right, so let's go here, and we will go here. And we, okay, so we have 539,288 sugar beads in storage, and... We have um, in the sugar mill, we have uh, 360,000 plus it's, you know, it's already processed a few of these, not, not really very many. So basically off that field, we could basically say we got um, eight, nine, almost 900,000. Yeah, around 900,000 liters off that big field. So yeah, that's going to hold us in good stead for a while. But the cool thing about it is now we can start producing our own sugar, uh, both for our productions, but also to sell too. Okay, cool. So that is finally done. The sugar beet situation has been taken care of. All right, I'm just going to park you here for now. Uh, again, I'm not really, I'm trying to av avoid or at least minimize repairs for now just because our money is kind of tight momentarily yeah see we i've had to borrow up to two hundred thousand dollars just to get keep doing this work um i could i suppose i could go into the next day and then we'd get payment from the greenhouses and the and the biogas plant but now nah, let's just let's just keep going let's just keep going We'll pay a little bit of interest, but I want to I want to keep keep at this. Okay, so I guess we needed the fent, right? So let's go back out to the field, get the fent right here, and the fent's gonna have to do the soil rolling, and we should be able to run the McCormick and the New Holland for the plowing, uh, as long as the horsepower requirement's not too steep. All right, do I have a course play for this? I don't remember if I do or not. 
Let's go here. Field 57. No, that's, um, that's metal rolling. Okay, so we're going to need to create a new course. So what we want to do is do our usual uh, headland spiral thing with as wide as this is. Let's just see what it does with tin. Probably doesn't even need that many. Nope, actually it did. Okay, let's try 12. Oh, no, wait a minute. It's only doing one, two, three, four. Uh, okay, what if we did five? It's going to stay the same no matter what. Okay, that's fine. Um, so let's go here. Save course. Activate F57. Um, and we'll call this soil rolling. Okay. Start first waypoint. And let's let it go at it. Okay, so now um, let's go to here and here. And I think we need to actually go to plows. Okay, this requires 235 horse. The McCormick is 213, so it's going to be a little bit much for it, but probably not too much. Um, we want that 9MT. We're going to lease this. And um, there we go. Okay. So, yeah, the McCormick should be able to handle this. Okay, let's go ahead and create a new course here. And this is a nine meter. So what happens if we try 20? That looks pretty good actually. Not sure why the... Oh, because I I told it center. No, we want to start at the headland. Okay, let's re, recalculate it here. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to look at something. Yeah, 29. This is the width, right? Yeah, okay. So... No, no. What are you doing? How did that happen? I'm not even sure. Okay. So let's go back into here. And we want to set this for field 68. Save course. F68. Nine meter plow. Start at first waypoint. Go for it. Okay. Let's find the New Holland. Wherever the New Holland actually is. It's right here. Just waiting, waiting to work. And we'll go grab the other... Uh, the other plow or uh, subsoiler. I want to try something. I don't know if it's going to let me do this, but is it possible to put a bridge over here? Can get it to fit a little bit better on this side. Like, maybe right there. There we go. Okay. Cool. Got a little bit of grass 
growing through it, but that's okay. Oh, <laughs> well, if we're gonna if we're gonna use the bridge, we should probably actually get on it, and not on the rail. That'll just help us to get over to field 38. Uh, easier. That might be a little bit of a rough thingy there. Uh, so let's go back into here for a second. There, that should work. If some of you are wondering how I was able to do that, I've got the mod that lets you basically use the building landscaping tool anywhere. Stuff to pay for it though, so it's not like it's free. Okay, so the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna put the New Holland over probably about here and probably starting right about here. We're gonna load the same course. Uh, 68 nine millimeter plow but we're gonna do near our nearest waypoint and then it'll just kind of start at this point and start working kind of on the in inner part of the field while the McCormick keeps working on the outer part of the field okay so we're just gonna leave these guys to it and uh, when the Fint is finished with the rolling task. I'll bring it out here probably with the stone picker and start working on stones. And then when these guys are completely done plowing, I'll put stone pickers on them too and the three tractors will work on getting the stones picked up. That's going to take a little while because the stone picker is not, uh, not very wide. But it's got to be done. So I will bring you guys back uh, with an update at some point here in a little while. All right, guys, we're back with an update here. And uh, looks like the New Holland has finished its plowing. Uh, we do. We are going to need to get some stuff on the corners. I finished the rolling with the Fint on 57 and the rollers uh, sitting right over there. But I don't want to start picking up stones until all of the plowing's done because otherwise it'll just kick up new stones. So let's let the McCormick continue on and we'll jump in the New Holland and get the stuff that's left over. This actually didn't take that long with both of these tractors working on it at the same time. Okay, let's hop in you and turn course play off. We'll send you back to the farm to get a stone picker, and we'll drive the New Holland back ourselves. So set destination. Uh, just go drive up into the yard, uh, wherever, doesn't matter. And then we'll do the same thing with the New Holland. Get this little last patch here. Nice. Let's just double check the map and make sure that it doesn't show any uh, more areas that need plowing. I wonder why that little section there doesn't show that it needs rolling. It looks like the plowing's all good. Okay. I'm. We could expand this field by removing some of those trees, but I don't think I'm going to do that. At least not right now. I might do it later. Um, I think I'm just going to leave it the way it is for now. 
so what we'll do is we'll come up here and we'll get the fence started with stone picking. Okay. All right, let's set up a course for this. This is probably going to take maybe all 40 headlands to do, I'm guessing. We'll see. Generate course. <clears throat> Yeah, that, that seems to be okay. All right, let's save this. Field 68, save course. F68, stones. Even though this is probably the only time we'll actually ever use this, but I have to save it so I can also assign it to the other tractors. Uh, okay, first waypoint. Okay, looking good. Um, let's get back to the New Holland. And get it home. And we're going to have to lease another one of those stone pickers too, which is not a big deal. We can do that. You know, I, I was leasing to own one of these... Uh, one of these two... Oh, uh, man. Why do I have a hard time remembering what these are called? Subsolars. But it doesn't really make sense for us to do that because we only use them on occasion. And they're not that expensive uh, to lease. On the other hand, we've I've, I've had, had it on a lease to own for a couple years now, so we've already applied uh, money to it. I don't know. Let's go... Let's, let's go back here first and we'll take a look at that again and see what makes seems to make the most sense. So let's look at this. If we go here and we... We're only going to use this on occasion. It's 1700 bucks. Well, no, actually it's um it's 1900 bucks. It only costs us 1000 bucks to lease. And we paid about $200 per day on the one that we currently have. So if we go to here and it's this one here. If we go to purchase it, we can buy it for $14,000. So we have basically paid, well, let's say 15. So we've basically paid about $4,000 on it so far. Yeah, maybe maybe we'll hang on to that one since we've already started it. But in hindsight, that wasn't really a good idea. I shouldn't have done that for something, you know, that we don't use on a regular basis. Least to own really uh, should be for stuff that we use on a fairly regular basis, uh, like the forage wagons and the V rakes, for example. Uh, all right. Anyway, let's go back to here and. So let's see, this is the one we just want to return. Let's just flat out return it. Okay, and this one, since we've already started it, we'll, we'll hang on to it. Okay, let's have just the normal AI send you out to the field and you can stage right there is good for now. And then we'll bring the McCormick out. Okay, so we're going to need to uh, lease another one of those stone pickers. Stone pickers, where are they? Right here. That has a 5.5 .5 meter head. That's a 2.7, but this is 52,000. This is 3,400 bucks. Uh, okay, yeah, so let's just lease that for $173. Okay, so... 
what we're gonna do here is where's the fit this field's so big it's so far away I can't even see it it's still working oh there it is it just now came into render distance how funny uh, all right so what we're gonna do is we're going to load the same course here uh, so field 68 stones But we're going to set this to nearest waypoint and start it probably right around in here-ish, I'm thinking. Okay. Uh, the New Holland got hung up somewhere, so let's go rescue it on a sign. And taking the long way to get there, too, of course. Okay, let's drive the New Holland more closer to the center. Probably right about in this neck of the woods. Load this stones course. Set this to nearest waypoint and let it go. Okay. So with all three tractors uh, working on this field with these tiny stone pickers, it should, I, I mean, it's still going to take a while, but it won't be too terribly painful, I'm thinking. So I will bring you guys back with an update here in a little while. All right, guys, the Fent is just about completely full. It is now full. Um, so let's go ahead and turn this off. And, you know, these stones aren't worth anything. They're like as bad as trees, elm trees. So we're just going to dump these down in the creek bed. Uh, this is my property back in here, too, but it's pretty much worthless. Um, here, actually, yeah, that's like the complete border. Is there a, looks like there might be a culvert down there, so let's come around this way. I don't think I would, e would ever expand the field on this side of the road. It just would never would make sense to do that. So, yeah, let's come down here, and then we're just going to dump the stones here they're just not not worth driving all the way over to the crusher you know to uh, to drop off for like thirty dollars or whatever it is There's going to be just a couple little corner pieces that we'll have to get at the very end, but um, I will, of course, worry about that at the very end. Okay, the McCormick is 66% full, and the New Holland is 54% full. And, uh, yeah, so this is basically the progress we've made so far. The New Holland's working on the center. McCormick is kind of in between, and then the vent is all the way on the outside edge. Okay, so I'll bring you back with another update in a little while. All right, guys, back with an update here. Um, the three tractors are doing really good uh, with the stone pickup. So the uh, New Holland finished with the center, so I reset it a little further out. So this isn't uh, too bad, you know. I, I'm just kind of sitting here managing the stones as they fill up. Uh, but what I went ahead and did was I took those three additional hay contracts for uh, 71 in the other two fields. Uh, I refreshed it a few more times, and I just could not get it to go to silage and not try and deliver it to the biogas plant. So, you know, uh, having a little more hay is never a bad thing anyways. So, uh, yeah, we're going to do that. And I borrowed the equipment uh, for that. Um, to do that. So we're going to get this equipment uh, going on 
uh, getting the hay going while we're continuing to work on field 38. So as we typically will do, we'll start on field 71 with the big M here and get the mowing going. Get the mowing going while we continue to manage field 38. So we're just going to kind of jump back and forth between uh, both jobs and, uh, and work it. All right, guys, we are back uh, with an update here. So I got uh, the crone and the uh, tether started on field 71. I went around and did the outside part because um, course play is not going to get that. Uh, so let's go ahead and load up field 71, uh, 17 meter tether and start a first waypoint and set this dude loose. Okay, and then uh, we just got a message that probably the New Holland is full. Yeah. And we're just about finished here too, by the way, uh, with 68. So it looks like the, the fence is going around one last time. And there's one more lap for the McCormick to do on its current track. So let's go dump these stones off and then get this stone picking finished. And then we will, uh, the next thing that's going to happen is seeding. So I'll bring you back again with another update here in just a little bit. All right, guys, um, we are just about finished. I realized later on, and I think I might have made put a note in the last episode, that we don't actually need the sprayer. Uh, because we subsoiled. So subsoil basically means that you're not going to get weeds. In subsequent years, when we replant slash cultivate this field, we will need to spray for weeds, but we don't need to do it this time. So I'm going to have the McCormick take the sprayer uh, back to the farm. And then we're going to get started with the planting. And I'm going to have the... I'm going to have the new haul and do the planting and then once it gets around a couple of times then we'll have the the fent uh, do the rolling right behind it and then once that's done oh no wait we gotta we have to do we have to lime that field i think we have to lime that field too i forgot about that uh let's look yeah, we're going to, well, no, it says it needs rolling. It doesn't say, we might not have to lime this field. The farmer that had it before us may have limed it already because it's not, it's not showing up as needing lime. So let's hope that we can luck out and not have to do that this time around. Uh, if we do end up having to lime it though, I'm going to get the larger bread all spreader. It doesn't have the width. Well, no, one of those does to actually have a 42 meter width. Um, and I think a 10,000, we looked at that a couple episodes ago, 10,000 liter capacity. So, uh, yeah, so we'll, um, we'll probably do that, but I'm hoping that we don't have to do it this time around. Just looking here. Yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and send you back to the farm. For now and you can just kind of park in the driveway and then I'll I'll deal with you later I'll, it sounds like he's in trouble I'll deal with you later no that's not it um, let's see okay so the New Holland is just finishing up the last bit of stone and it looks like that should be it so let's turn off course play uh, let's take a look at the map and we want to go okay so we would either see yellow orange or red if there were any stones left on this field and i think we've got all of them which is really great yeah looks like we got them all okay cool so let's go dump these off in the crick bed uh the fent up there i think the well actually does the fent have a few stones left too i think it does actually yeah it does okay so I'm going to get these uh, stones dropped off or dumped in the in the crick bed and then get up, get set up for the seeding and the rolling next. So I'll bring you back when that is ready to go. 
All right, guys, um, I decided to go ahead and just get the, the hay contracts knocked out. So these silage bales that we have and the hay that you see over here on the little harrow bed is what we ended up with. Now, I had auto drive delivering the hay off of field 71, and unfortunately, I didn't catch the last load, so I ended up selling over $6,000 worth of of hay which was several bales that I would have preferred to have kept and put in our barn but yeah it just just is what it is uh, so let's go ahead and drop these off here these round silage bales we will be selling in January uh, because we have no reason to to keep round bales for our own use uh, we use the concrete stave silo over there for our own silage and uh, so uh, whoops uh, let's get these dropped off here Oops, sorry about that so that's uh 10 more bales but i don't know how much six thousand some odd dollars of hay is but it's probably two four i don't know it's probably another 10 bales we probably lost about half of, of the hay I, that's just a very rough guess, though. I don't know. Um, okay, so I got to get the uh, vehicles fueled up and cleaned up, and the uh, contracts turned in. And then when that's done, I'll meet you guys back out at field 68, and we'll get that sucker planted. So see you in a bit. All right, guys, we're out at the field. Uh, let's get the contracts turned in uh, we're currently sitting at three thirty thousand nine hundred thirty seven dollars whoops and so turn all of those in there there's a seven thousand dollar fertilizing contract i think i'll do that but i'm going to do it later because that's a pretty nice chunk of change there nothing else here that's big ticket except for the sugar beet harvest which we don't need or want to do <laughs> Uh, so what's this that's yeah that's also sugar rate yep nope we're good to go okay so that gets us up to 86613 however i do owe the bank a lot of money um which we will be able to pay off uh is probably next month no problem uh so that's not really our money but we're gonna hang on to it for the moment okay so i've got the new holland set up uh, with my three cedars all the cedars have barley uh, set as you can see in the lower right hand corner and I also have them filled with granular fertilizer so we're going to do our first application of fertilizer and seeding at the same time and then I have the vent behind there with the big Dalbo roller and so once I get a few passes going with the cedar I'll start the roller too and hopefully we can get this knocked out pretty quick I decided to leave the stone pickers on the front of the tractors so they can act as front weights and uh, yeah so there we go all right, so let's get this started. We will be using uh, GPS on this field uh, because I think I've mentioned this to you guys before, but the AI has a hard time with these cedars. So I pretty much have to use them myself, but that's fine. We can do that. So let's get everything spread out here. Uh, let's get some lights on too. All right. Now, we should theoretically... Uh, let's turn guidance steering on. Oh! I don't have guidance steering on this tractor. I forgot. Hmm. Okay, how much horsepower does the Dalbo require? It requires 350. Um... Okay, the new Holland has 312. I think it can handle it. It's going to be a, a little bit over, but I think it'll be able to handle it. Um, we're, we're going to need to use the vent for the seating because it's the only one with guidance steering, a.k.a. GPS. Um, what What is the horsepower on our... 
on this. It's 313. Yeah, it's it's a little bit under, but it should be able to handle it. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna have to switch the tractors here so we can use guidance steering on the fence. In fact, here, I'm just gonna turn that off for now because we're gonna have to make a few passes before we can get the roller going because the roller is really wide, which is a good thing. Lights on. Okay. So, um, we should be able to just load this, even though it's we're not on field 57, it should still work because it's the same width. We're just going to have to adjust it. Um, so let's do this. <clears throat> that seems a little narrow. Tell you what, let's get on the field. No, it's, it's not narrow. It's just, it needs to come over a little bit more. I just gotta get the cedars straight here. Yeah, let's let's run with that. And start seeding. Seeding and fertilizing. It is overhanging a little bit, but that's okay. These cedars, if they're on ground that it can't drop seed on, or on ground that you've already seeded, it doesn't continue dropping the seed, which isn't very realistic, but that's the way it works in the game. Okay, yeah, so like I said, I'm going to get um, a few passes in, and then we will get the roller started afterwards. So let's do this. Uh. 